Some Sister Wives fans are now placing bets on how long Christine Brown and David Woolley will last. How awful. How awful is that? Now, before we get all into this topic, and by the way, it is a hot topic. I don't know why so many people are quick to be like, well, I don't think these people will last. Like, what? What? But here we are. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know how you got here, but I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. Be sure you hit that notification bell located beside subscribe. Make sure it's highlighted to all. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload. Like I said, this is becoming a hot topic. Fans are placing bets, taking bets on how long Christine Brown and David Woolley will last. You can catch up on their dating journey now, currently airing exclusively on TLC at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time every Sunday. New episodes of Sister Wives airs exclusively on TLC. Set your DVRs, mark your calendars. You can watch Christine and David's love story unfold before your very eyes. This viewer and fan took to Reddit, posted this, and what took me by surprise was the amount of comments that post had. I was like, is this many people just sitting here waiting on something to talk about? Come on over to my channel and meet me in the comments. Blow up my comment section like that. The post read, also, did anyone feel that it was weird that Christine felt she needed to talk to David about whether he was physically attracted to her or not? Because he hadn't made a move by the second date. It seems like after only two dates to feel like that, it's been strange. I'm no prude. Plenty of one night stands here. Ooh, okay. But after only two dates, someone I really liked hadn't made a move. I wouldn't feel like it's time to ask. Give this guy some time. Then they continued, which brings me around also to it seems like Christine is very impatient with everything. I guess she found her soulmate. She'd been with Cody in a passionless marriage or whatever for so long. But between this and getting married, all of it just seems like she's rushing it because she's so excited to have it, I guess. I'm just going to read a few of the 200 and something comments because that's too many comments to be reading. I actually think they will work. It's all crazy fast, crazy and fast, but it seems like they fit. I completely agree with that. Another road, I think they will last. They are both older and in the honeymoon stage right now. They are not in polygamy. He's been single a while. They are both getting older and why they are rushing, apparently. Another chimes in. Did people forget how Cody, her oh-so-loving, now thankfully, ex-husband, told her how he just wasn't attracted to her anymore, how he never was? That causes deep insecurity. She was super into David. And I get why she would ask that up front and not waste her time. And to not be heartbroken again. This fan wrote, People also seem to miss the fact that both of them are over the age of 50. David even being around 60, if I'm not wrong. They aren't in their 20s and 30s anymore. Where they have all this time in the world to get to know each other and themselves, actually. They are heading into retirement, technically. At that age, you know who you are, what you want and expect. It's a lot easier to connect also, since they don't have the whole family or no family planning. They already have done that. They don't have to establish much, especially if they're into each other. I'm sure they'll last. Another writes, I think... They were both lonely for so long and have some desperation to not be alone that they'll make it. David also seems patient and willing to let Christine be the star, which Cody wasn't. Most importantly, David is only married to Christine and isn't sharing his love with other women. Had Cody and Christine been monogamous, I think she would have stayed with him forever. The entire soulmate thing is ridiculous and way too fast in my opinion, but whatever works for them is great. They seem happy enough. This fan says, I think so. They've had a lifetime to figure out what they do and don't want. 
They're both crazy into family and the kids. And he doesn't mind the TV show or letting Christine be the happy star. Another writes, I think it's a few things. She was lucky to find a good guy. He's as ready as her to make a run for it. She wants to show Cody how quickly she got snapped up. She's no longer wasting her time. She's genuinely in love and enmeshing herself with David. This fan wrote, I'm not sure. I guess only time will tell. And if they're collectively happy, then that's all that matters. I think it's different to how I'd roll on a date, asking if the guy is attracted to me. I probably wouldn't do that, but I think with Christine, she's stunted emotionally at the age she got married, so she's a little childish. Wow. She is rushing, but I think when you're older, that's okay, as you've usually had a lifetime of experience, but it is a little concerning. So Christine hasn't really had her hoe years. I'm happy. <laughs> Not her hoe years. I'm happy for her. Whatever happens, it'll be an experience and an amazing life journey. I thoroughly like that comment. I just want to say, yes, they're adults. You get to a point where you understand and accept the relationships are work. Both of these people know how to and put in the work to make a relationship work. They'll be fine. This person said, I'll give them maybe 10 years. That's not so bad, especially considering she's married her rebound guy. Rebound guy? Are we in high school again? Yep. I found my person later in life after being neglected for years. It's amazing to feel seen again. Speak it. Even though they're cringy, that doesn't mean they don't have a solid love underneath all that making out. When you're older, you care more about being happy and less about what others think about it. This fan wrote, yes, I think they'll work. I also think it's reasonable that she asked him if he was attracted to her. That was a huge issue between her and her ex-husband. Why wouldn't she ask? Does she want to wait 30 years again to find out that he was never attracted to her? They'll last. Christine was in a loveless marriage where Cody never showed her any type of love or physical affection. She has been craving physical affection for so long. She just wanted to make sure this relationship wasn't headed that direction, too. I think they will work not only because they just seem like a good fit, but he seems to be a really good father figure for her kids, and that is what matters most to these women. They've stated that. Her and Janelle. The kids matter, whether you like it or not. Clearly, the kids matter. Remember the final straw between Christine and Cody was because he couldn't take the time to go to Isabel's surgery. And she said, if you can't take the time for my kids, I don't have no time for you. She said she's doing what's best for her kids. She said that when she left, before David was even in the picture. Since David came into the picture, David has stepped up and been there for her kids. They have been on many adventures, vacations, journeys. They have made many wonderful memories together as a family. Haven't seen Cooter Brown there. Not only Christine loves David, but her kids love David. Now, today, spoiler alert. And that love will only grow. I think and I believe. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're taking bets on they won't last, shame on you. Shame on you. That, that should never be in anybody's mind to do that. We should wish everybody the best and hope everything works out for the best. That's the way I think anyway and the way I want to encourage other people to think as well. Don't forget, you can catch Christina David's love story unfold currently right now exclusively on TLC every Sunday at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. I love you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video or in the comments below.